do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body bang for you feel me? Listen, today we have yet another reaction video, but this time we're taking it back. We're reacting to some more UDY. I haven't reacted to their channel in a minute, but basically they do like um, cheating videos and catching cheat cheaters like in the act of it. So, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a great video. I'm not going to talk too much because this video is already 26 minutes long, so we're just going to hop right into it. So if you're excited for this video, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. You know what I'm saying? Hit the post notification button so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. And let's hop right into this. This says, will her boyfriend make a move on her best friend? And I'm assuming the answer is already no. But we want to see if this is the, if this is a strong black man. I don't know if he's black or white. But we go see because we know black. It can't be a black man because black men don't cheat. We know this already. We've talked about this multiple times. So it's definitely not a black man. But before we hop into the video, joy.com. You can buy two and third and free. One let's say stuff dollars. This is the fifth. This is the 50. No, this is the pink. I'm um, wavy. Super sexy do rag, but you already knew this. But without further ado, let's go. Alrighty guys, so we got Ken in position, we got Anthony in position, we got Rachel in position. We're just waiting for Angel to get here with her boyfriend. He got a You're beard now? He ain't have a beard before. He got a beard now? Okay, hold on. I'm, I done missed a little bit. Hey, they need to hurry up. What the hell? Hello? Hey girl, what's up? Where are you? literally had to park like all the way down the street. I'm Did so you like park um around the corner? Oh my gosh, I think it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you are. <laughs> okay, all right, see you soon. Alrighty guys, alrighty guys, here we go. This is it, Angel has arrived. I repeat, Angel has arrived with her boyfriend. How are those cameras looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? We're looking good? This is Rogue One checking in. We looking good back here. Rogue 24 is rolling, over. Perfect, perfect. Remember, let's get good shots, but do not get caught. I repeat, don't get caught, over. How are you? Hello. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. This time, our friend Rachel would be asking Angel's boyfriend on a date. We'll just call him Jay. So normally like I'll do a couple laps, but I'm cool if you just want to do one, two, like you just tell me when you're ready to stop and then we'll just go back. So Rachel's going to be asking Jay on a date at our apartment. So in order for that to happen, we just got to get them there. And luckily we have the perfect plan. We learned that Jay was into health and fitness through Angel. Because of this, we instructed her to bring him to this trail. Angel managed to do so by convincing him. Jay's into health and this guy's into health and fitness. This little tick tw Twiggy, Twiggy's into health and fitness. Okay. Because of this, we instructed her to bring him to this trail. Angel managed to do so by convincing him to go on a morning run with her and her supposedly good friend, Rachel. It actually is a really nice day. I know, it's like, it's like, I feel like it's like a little bit chilly, but like for the run, it's gonna be perfect, you know? How creepy does this look, guys? Are we like creeps for like setting this up and doing this like this? <laughs> it's okay, guys, you guys are just taking pictures of birds. <laughs> we'll just start right here and then we can jump onto the path. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty guys, runners are off. I repeat, runners are off. On the surface, this may seem like just another run, but what Jay doesn't know is that this is only the first phase of his loyalty test. It's time to move on to phase number two. Anthony, you are coming with me. Ken, you're just gonna kick back and just keep us updated. Gotcha. We gotta add. We gotta add. This is my time to talk though. So basically, we got it all planned out. You know, saying Jay's already gonna fold. I can really tell by the way that he lied about being into fitness and health. He's obviously not into fitness and health. He's into cheating, obviously. Rogue One is in the tailgating position and ready to move. <laughs> So like I said, this run was only the first phase of our loyalty test. We still had three more phases to go. The purpose of phase number one was for Rachel to simply meet Jay. They've done so and they are currently on their run. Right now we're on our way to Whole Foods so that we can get Anthony into position for phase number two. So after their run, the plan was for the trio to enjoy some smoothies together. I think I told Angel already. I'm not sure if she told you, but I want to bring you guys back for smoothies at my place afterwards. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, slow down. He's trying to clap. He's so down. He should. He could have said, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. He's, I'm so down, bro. I'm so freaking down, bro. The trio would be grabbing the ingredients to make these smoothies at a nearby Whole Foods, which is only a short drive away from the trail. Okay. 
Sure. <laughs> is it absolutely mandatory that I have to creep around? I mean, you don't have to creep around. You just have to basically pretend like you're shopping, look around, but just follow them. Not too close, though. You could be at a very good distance from them. Anthony would be keeping tabs on the trio while they were at Whole Foods shopping for the smoothie ingredients. So we are leaving Anthony behind at the Whole Foods and we are making our way to the apartment. Remember, guys, the apartment is going to be where the trio will be making the smoothies and where Rachel will be making her move. Hey, what's up? I just want to call you to let you know. It looks like they're getting ready to go. Wait, are you serious? Like they're done, done, done. They're done running? Yeah, they're, they're on the way back towards me right now. Dude, it's only been like 25 or 30 minutes. They didn't want to run three miles. So yeah, so they're, they're done for sure. Okay, copy that. So we'll just get out of there and just meet us back here. Time was of the essence, which meant that we had to hurry. Never mind, I was about to say something. We're setting up our hidden cameras and establishing our live feed. You look stressed. I look stressed? Yeah. It's been a long day. I bet it has. <laughs> I, I, I wish y'all could see what goes on before sometimes, because this mother could be going around all, all over the place. Hey. <laughs> we gotta get a cart. <laughs> So if my calculations are correct, Anthony should be stocking the trio at the Whole Foods right now, which means that I'm gonna use this time to thank our friends at Hive.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Hive, Hive but I don't wanna listen to Hive right now. I wanna see the, the good stuff. You're out of it if I wanted to. <laughs> it was now time to move on to phase number three, which would begin with the trio making those smoothies. They got some spinach. You never had a smoothie with spinach? A smoothie with spinach? Bro, that does not sound good. It's bomb, and you don't even taste it. Oh no, the only smoothies I've ever had are strawberry, strawberry but yeah, that's basic. <laughs> basic. That's basic. Uh -uh. The purpose of this third phase was for Rachel and Jay to bond even more, so we had Rachel ask him for help in making the smoothies. At the same time, we also had to get Angel out of there. Therefore, when the time was right, she would be making up an excuse to exit the scene. Do you have to give a thumb? Uh, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think this is it, guys. I think Angel's making up her excuse to leave. Did you check your box? This where it's about to get good. This is my phone. Do you think I left it? No, because I had it I in saw it. Foods. Yeah, I saw no, it. No, 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 no. I did. I used it. At home. You used it at home? Okay, let me yeah. give it a call real quick. I mean, I texted my mom. So, did you find my iPhone? I should go back and look. Oh, she's playing it off so good. <laughs> Angel successfully makes her exit by pretending to go look for her phone back at the Whole Foods. Oh, he about to get naked. He's really about to get naked right now. So let's just do it real quick before she gets back. Forget the smoothie. I'm finna put another banana where it's not supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, okay. Oh, I feel so bad. I told her she should do fine right now. In reality, Angel simply makes her way over to our command center and prepares to watch and listen in to the last and final phase of this test. I think we're making a smoothie. Oh. All right. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, like how confident are you that he's going to pass? I mean, we're here. Like I, I brought you all here. So right. I mean, I'm five. A six being so hopeful. 50, 50, I mean, 50 still? I, mean, I don't know. I'm honestly, trusting yeah. you more than I'm trusting him right oh, now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she said if he fails, <laughs> it's <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Come on, bro, talk to me. Let me see the good stuff. Come on, man. Exit that. You know what? You just tell me when this is done because I obviously don't know what I'm doing whatsoever. I thought I was too. So in case you guys are wondering, Angel wanted to place her boyfriend to the test because she's actually been through something like this before. Yes. I had an ex uh, cheat on me with one of my best friends. That is crazy. How long ago was this? Gosh, like two years ago? Two years ago. So still, I would say still fairly. She got bad luck. I don't know what's wrong with her. She just has she just has bad luck. Maybe she should stop believing these men that lie and say that they love fitness and health when they look like a freaking twelve year old girl. Fresh, oh, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like how did that happen? Like how? I think it started off in the same scenario. Like you you start to hang out and you think that like oh we're we're all good like we can all hang out and be acquainted together. But I mean you never know what's happening behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Like yeah, of course it He's didn't work out well for me. Movie. I tried not to cry in that scenario, yeah. but then you mean the second you walk out the door, I mean, and they're still together. In case they're you're still together. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, so glad it worked out for them. I mean, hopefully hopefully this guy doesn't do the same, you know, hopefully he resists and he's able to pass the test. And yeah. if he doesn't, if he ends up failing, at least you know, and you could maybe move on and try to find the next person, you know? <laughs> and, then I'll, and then I'll see you guys again. <laughs> we'll do this all over again. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. I like that, I, I feel like I can taste that like oat. I told you it's fine. Protein, it's creamy. It's creamy. <laughs> Rachel. You know what else is creamy? That's what he about to say. That, he just said it in his head, but he's like, nah, let me chill. Let me finish the smoothie first, and then we'll get to the other banana talk. You know what I'm saying? Spent a couple more minutes just making some small talk and enjoying her smoothie with Jay. Eventually, though, she finally got around to making her move. 
Okay, I think this is it. I think she's starting to ease her way in there. We've been wanting to go on a run for a while now, for sure. But we just hadn't like gotten the chance to or anything yeah. like that, so. She's been busy with one thing, I've been busy with another thing, so I'm like... I hit a, I hit a run every morning, so... Every yeah, morning? You guys, yeah. Damn, okay. Well, I'm a morning person, so if you ever need a running buddy, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Here, actually, let me get your number, so that way, we, whenever we need to plan it, we can just plan on doing another run or something. You can hear okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good. But, you know, I do feel like I feel kind of bad that you had to basically do the entire smoothie process and I, it was an utter fail on my part. I mean, that's fine. I and I wanted to like maybe really go really out to really dinner really with you. Go out to dinner with me? Yeah, like. You want to treat? You want to treat me? Yeah, I yeah, we it. could just go out to dinner, like a little dinner date or something. A date, uh, um. When are you free next? Like Friday, next week? Probably not the weekend. We have to do a weekend. Probably not the weekend. weekend. He's a failure. What's his name? Jilly? J John? What What did they, Timmy? Tom? What did they name him? Whatever he is, he's a failure. He didn't, he didn't even think about it. He didn't even be like, mm, you know, I got a girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. He just said, you know, the weekend is not going to work for me. Let's do the weekend. I mean, let's do the weekday. You know what I'm saying? This man did not even try. He's a certified liar. Look at the way his, he's wearing a literal extra small shirt and there's still 14 inches of freaking space in his sleeves. There's no huggage on his arms. He does not lift. He does not love health. He doesn't love anything except for cheating. I'm hoping he's just trying to be nice here, you know? Can I treat so that's you? Why, that's why they keep doing it to you, because you're stupid. How is this trying to be nice? <laughs> what, what type of stupidness did you just say? Some other time, Absolutely. separately. Absolutely. So would you- Hang out, we could be friends. We'd be just friends? Cause I was thinking like maybe a little bit. A little bit more than friends. A little bit more than friends. To, to be a little bit more candid. Okay. You're really attractive. Let's just be real. Thank you. So, I was just wondering if it is really that serious with Angel or if you'd be open to going on like a dinner date or something I like mean, that. I it's pretty serious. You've only been going out for like three months. So like. But is it really that months, serious? Three months doesn't, yeah. I mean, if I met her three months ago or I met her six months ago, I'd still feel the same way. You know, her mm -hmm. time doesn't mean anything. Okay, maybe he's not, maybe he's doing good. Maybe, we go see, hold on. Maybe he's maybe he doing good. It's like, even if, even if you've been with somebody for three months, you could still be serious. You know? Right. Like, you've been treating things pretty serious. But sometimes you can be with somebody for three years and it's still in the casual phase too, so okay. again. Some people don't want to settle down. Yeah, I mean, what's what's your, where are you kind of feeling with that? I mean, I've been looking for something serious. Yeah. That's how I've been going about this. Mm -hmm. and I feel like that's how anyone should be with any decision. You know, if you're, right. if you're in a job, you know, any job, you should be fully committed to it. Yeah. In a relationship. So like, you're like really settled in with been, Angel. Yeah, I've been pretty settled in, yeah. We've yeah. Had, we've had a lot of good times. I mean, you could have good times with her, you could have good times with me. This is Blanco. Okay, okay. I, I got nothing to say. I'm curious. To see, cause I, I, I want to see if he's going to fail this. Cause I, right now, it's not like he switched because he gave her his number and all that. And he's ready to go on a date next week during the weekday. Remember, he said during the weekday, not on the weekend because he's busy with his girlfriend during the weekend. You know what I'm saying? But now he's saying he's in a serious relationship. He don't want to do that. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. What would be better? <laughs> She's good. I told you. <laughs> it sounds like... You have some sort of something going on in your head, some scenario. I'm sorry, What's I. What's your ideal scenario on this? I didn't my know. ideal scenario would be you say yes to going on a dinner date with me because you find <laughs> me as attractive as I find you. We can go get dinner. What's wrong with that? So, so let me just he lost. get this clear. Just him saying that we that you you know the girl likes you and calling you attractive in the audit, and you still say you go on the date with her, but nothing's come, gonna go out of it because. You're serious about your relationship. And this girl is still, look at this, she's still hopeful. Look at her. She just made me mad. Because you should, you should already be mad, already ready to throw the towel in and start beating people. Because he already, he already cheated on you. If we were to go out to dinner, it wouldn't be a date in your eyes? No. No. Even can't. though it would be in my eyes? We can't. Like, would, you would tell if, Angel? If, if she, if you think about it that way, then we might not be able to do that either. Okay. I'm telling you right now, it has to be. Oh, well, we could just hang out and not call it a date, but you know what I mean. Same intention. If you're going to put it like that, 
I wouldn't feel right about it. You know. okay. that's His cousin must be black. He's a loyal. He's loyal. Okay, let's talk about it. Good. That's good, right? That's how, do you, good. how do you see that? He's he's pretty much like rejected her. She just is still doing her part and like prying at him. I mean, you know what? I respect that. You and Angel. If you're super serious about her, like I can respect that. Like it makes you more attractive, in my opinion. But um, if, if that's if that's what you want to do, that's what you're gonna do. I'm sorry that like if it made anything awkward or anything that's like right. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. But if you still, if you ever want a running buddy, anything like that, let me know. I'm a morning person, but just I hope clean slate. I I'm sorry. I don't know where, where the heck she went off to. Anyway. I know. Should I try calling her again? I felt like in the beginning he was kind of like he was taking us in a little. He, he was he was definitely ready to get booty balls naked. He was a little bit right. of like for a ride, right? right? And I didn't know where this was gonna. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, <laughs> oh, this is just like this is a lot. She's been gone for a while. I'll give it a couple minutes, I guess. Hopefully, I mean, if not, like we can always like go to Whole Foods too. And I honestly, I do feel like a huge sense of relief right now. I mean, okay. I mean, ultimately, he did what I wanted him to do and he like he yeah. pretty much pushed her to the side. I could see how there may be a, like a piece of him that was like, oh well I mean we just are yeah. getting started here. But ultimately I don't know, I consider that a pass. Yeah. So, okay. I like, yeah. <laughs> so Rachel had made her move and Jade turned her down, which to Angel meant that he successfully passed this test. Do you wanna tell him about any of this? Do you wanna go back upstairs and like tell him that you put him to the test? God no I don't <laughs> I don't think I want to tell him about any of it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can if you want to, too, too. I think if it would have gone a totally different direction, we could have exposed everything. <laughs> but for now, I think we should keep this on the down low. That's cool. <laughs> cool. Do Let's pause real quick. It's, we 14 minutes in. It's 26 minutes left. We halfway through the video. Something's finna change. Something is finna change. Something has to change. You know what I'm saying? Feel about us posting this video onto YouTube? Yeah, you know what? I want I want girls to have faith. I want them to have, see that there are loyal men out there. Right? <laughs> so for all we knew, this test was officially over. We sent Angel back upstairs to pretend like none of this ever happened. Everything just seems so natural, so fluid. It does. Rachel's good. Dude. She's good. Rachel and Angel played everything off and drank their smoothies for another 20 minutes or so before casually deciding to call it a day. For all we knew, this was just another happy ending. However, as I'm sure you all noticed, this video is far from over. I noticed. I literally know. I said that the, the timestamp is too much away from the end. You know what I'm saying? There's more going on. Hold on. Do you have your phone? I have my phone. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Bye. So what's about to happen? So a couple days after the test, I received a text message from Rachel saying that Jay had sent her this message. Apparently he had changed his mind about everything. Hey, Sergio. Hey, hey, hey. So he just sent you that? Like that was like, literally he just sent you that message out of nowhere? Or, or were you guys like talking beforehand or anything? No, no, no. He just sent it to me out of the blue. Like we haven't been talking since the last time that I saw them. That is crazy. I don't like, I haven't responded yet because I'm not really sure. That's what, ha see. He asked his girl, this is what happened with the, the dude, John, Jimmy, whatever the heck his name is. Jimmy was talking to his girlfriend and asked the girlfriend, can you make me a sandwich? She said no. So he decided to go cheat and texted Rachel. That's how it works. That's how it works. He was he was loyal until until he didn't get a sandwich. If I should like say yes and go through with it or if we should just like cut it off here. Like, what do you think? I would say let's hold off and let me get in touch with Angel and ask her what she wants to do. Okay. And then we can kind of go from there. Maybe text him and kind of like string him along a little bit, but don't fully commit to anything. Yeah, I can give like a loose response to him just so it doesn't seem like I'm ignoring it. Like maybe the day of he was just like, oh, well, like, like she's coming back. So I don't want there to be awkward tension or something. But like, I have not spoken to him since. <sighs> Man. That is crazy. Okay, well, let me uh, let me talk to let me talk to Angel and let me see what she wants to do. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is so ridiculous. I was waiting for him to tell me that that incident even happened, like with him and Rachel, and you know he never did. I kind of feel like that should have been my red flag. Like this just goes to show red like, flag. He had plans, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, the purpose of my call is to ask you, like, do you want to start the test back up again, or do you want to, like... I mean, is that an option? Maybe do that? <laughs> uh, 
If you want to, we can. If you want to, we can. It's up to you. I hate to say it, but it appears that Jay had us all fooled. You know, in retrospect, his responses to Rachel's offer did seem a little bit too perfect and analytical. It's almost as if he suspected that something was up or he was afraid that Angel would walk back in at any moment. Or who knows, maybe he was just playing hard to get. Hello. How are you? Good. I, I just, I wanted to give you a call. I know, I know we already said everything over text, but I just wanted to really make sure that, like, you're cool with, like, coming over there. We can still, you know, plan something. Because, I mean, you know my intentions with everything and, um... Like, comfortable with it? Of course. Okay, I just, I... Of course? What happened to, uh, I'm serious about the other girl, to, of course? What the... I'm telling you, that sandwich was crazy. I just wanted to make sure you seemed like very adamant last time that you were like, no, but like well, if, if, if you're cool you with it. Me, you caught me off guard. Okay. Angel elected to keep this test going, so that's exactly what we did. Rachel kept in touch with Jay and scheduled out a movie date with him about a week later. I mean, on the bright side, the items that we got from Hive came in, so at least we could give Angel what we got for her. I mean, of course, not that this justifies or corrects what Jay's doing to her, but still, I'm just glad that we can like brighten up a week a bit. A couple more days went by and Rachel continued to keep in touch with Jay. Date night eventually arrived though, and we wanted to give Jay one last chance to at least come clean to Angel about what he was about to do. Hello. Hey, babe. What's going on? What are you doing? Just hanging out at the house. Mm. What about you? Nothing, I was just wondering if you wanted to do something later on. Um, later on, what time? Um, I don't know, just like in a couple hours. I kind of figured that out, to be honest. Um, I was talking to Luca. He wants to, he, I guess he, he might be doing a show, and I was gonna go support him. You li oh, okay. Luca don't got no show. Luca is an idiot, bomb selling, stupid magi musician that nobody wants to see. And you know this, he don't got a show. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I just went stupid on Luca real quick. I don't know who the heck Luca is. Sorry, Luca. Mm, that's fine. I just wanted to see what you were up to. I mean, I'll let you know about later. Right now, that's 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 kind of my plan, you know, for the night, and uh, I can keep you posted. Yeah, just text me when you're done. That right, sounds good. Okay. Right, baby. Right, bye. bye. My name is Irving Tisman. Man, come on. Just stop with the ads, bro. Stop with the ads, bro. Let's let's just go. Come on. Let's go. Skip it. Damn. He's good. I just, it makes me feel like such an idiot. Oh man, this Let's is go. it. He's here. He showed up. I don't even want to see his face. Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> this is all I need. Uh, yeah, so I brought these. I don't know if you've ever tried them. Uh, what are they? So did you want to go in there and talk to him, confront him? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. If you want to walk you in there right now, you gotta wait till it gets more juicy. Don't go in there yet. You gotta wait till it gets a little more juicy. We can walk in there right now, but I'm gonna be honest. I feel like if you walk in there right now, I feel like he's gonna be like, I'm just here to watch a movie with her. Like I'm not doing anything else. Maybe we should have let them choose out a movie to watch and then see if his behavior changes and stuff. But again, it's completely up to you. I know he's already here. I know he already agreed to come and whatnot. But you know, I'm just saying, like he might be denying it. All right. Um. I'll kind of wait a second. After making the popcorn and serving the wine, Rachel brings Jay to the living room to pick out a movie to watch. To me, Jay's intentions are perfectly clear. He's here behind his girlfriend's back and ready to have a good night with Rachel. However, we didn't want to leave him any room for excuses, so we thought it best to keep this thing going a little bit more to see if anything else would happen. Does Angel know you're here, or? <laughs> Why are we talking about Angel right now? I don't know. I just like I. You're the one who wanted to hang out. I'm I'm just covering like my bases in case she like texts me or something like that. I just don't want to. I'm just trying to cover my bases. She's That's good. All. If you're asking me about Angel, I feel like I don't know. What? I feel like if he's getting that uncomfortable with the mention of your name, I feel like he knows. Like yo, I should not be here. Little does he know that I'm watching everything. Why are you yeah, so? Man, why are you acting so you're awkward? About Angel, dude. Like, okay, if I I swear I would. Okay, I. Bad, bad call on my part. Rachel bringing up Angel seemed to have spooked Jay, but he didn't get up and leave. So Rachel dropped the subject and proceeded at choosing out a movie for them to watch. All right, thank I'm you. Absolutely demolishing the book. No, it's okay. There's like two more bags, so if you want, to, if you want me to make more, I can make box more. Ready to go. After some time, Jay began dropping his guard and getting comfortable again, finally giving Angel a clear visual of his intentions. The hand Yo. on the elbow, 
hand I, on the elbow. Next thing you know, booty balls naked, having babies. I think that was the clarification I, I needed. His intentions are perfectly clear. You know, you don't yeah. do that to a friend or if you're just there to hang yeah. out. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. imagine this was not a test. What would happen after the movie? What would happen during the movie? Yeah, I'm they ready to be, go in there and ask. What the they fuck? would literally be making macaroni sounds. That's what would be happening if it wasn't a test. He's doing here. What do you think he's gonna say? He's gonna deny it and play dumb. I'm sure. If this was just friends hanging out, first of all, I would be here. Second of all, I would know about it. Third, he wouldn't have his arm around her like that. Third, the fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear the BS he's gonna give me when I get in there. And so after a crazy long test filled with a roller coaster of emotions, Angel decides to finally confront Jay. There is no telling how Jay is going to react, but I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. <laughs> What the hell? Really? Are you kidding? This is where you had to be today? This is out with the boys? This is that really important show you had to go see? What's what's all this? How about how about you start off with explaining what the fuck it is you're doing here? How about that? Marisha might be able to tell you she's the one who had me over. Oh immediately you're gonna start to blame her. Okay. No, I wasn't blaming her. Okay, so then how about you explain why you're here? We were just hanging out. And how's that going? It was going pretty good until this happened. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> he said you just killed the vibe, woman. Apparently you don't trust me, which is obvious. Yeah, it's, 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 so this entire thing basically is all of us. Like, Angel wanted to find out if you would stay loyal to her or go on a date with Rachel. And so we set this entire thing up, like none of this was real. This was all part of the plan to see if you were loyal to Angel or not. And I mean, and we rightfully needed to so. do all that. Rightfully we so, because here for, we are. Here we are. For what? In a couple months. What do you later. mean for what? Here we are. <laughs> I mean, she had a reason to test you. You know, no, no, where, where, today. where else would this have gone had I not walked in two seconds ago? Nowhere. God knows what else was gonna happen. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, was gonna nothing else was gonna happen. I was entertaining the idea of it. You know, it's not. It's not a big deal if you just like. If you're hanging out with somebody, you go over to the house. I, I tried to tell her multiple times. I said, we're not. We're just friends. I did say that multiple times. I told you that. Oh, so this is all your fault, right? Sure. This is all her fault. Yeah. This is all my fault. You're you're the victim so here. In the beginning, I wanted to be friends. You this know, is this is a, a you bit. are the reason that we are literally if here. If you don't have any trust in a relationship, the relationship's already over. <laughs> you want to bring up trust? <laughs> How is he so good at just deflecting? How is he so good at just putting the blame on everybody else? He's a he's great. He's a, I'm starting to feel bad for him. You know what I'm saying? Now get the fuck out of here, Jordan. I mean, really? Look at the Please. Cameras. Why do you think they're all here? For this exact months, reason, because there was a camera team. Absolutely. Me to your friend's house. Oh, okay. She's yeah. a nice girl. She offered to have me over. I'm so sorry. Are we all on the same page? Like, are we in the same room right now? You do not get to be the victim here. The perfect girl for me. But is that fair to her to say that she needs to trust you if clearly you're not to be trusted? I don't. I don't think like you're getting it. Like we're all. Do anything. I mean, we were cuddling up. That's about it. Just get the fuck out. We're done. Yes, obviously this is done. Like, please. I was doing my own test. We need. He was doing his own test. He had us all. Where's his cameras at? He had he had cameras too. Where they at? He was doing his own test. <laughs> what what the fuck are An you testing? An experience. We're just having we're just having a good night. Yeah, and if it's I didn't end this test two seconds ago, then where would that experiment have taken you? And I, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out. <laughs> I don't. I can't be with somebody who's insecure. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry. How how is how is he blaming her? He how did he just break up with her after she just broke up with him? What, 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 what's going on? Are you breaking up with me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm good. <laughs> really? Because we've right, been done since the moment I walked through that door. And he's taking the Mai Tais? Fuck out. All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. So any regrets with doing this? Besides maybe putting myself on blast? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> well, the reason we've gathered you here today a week later is because we actually have a surprise for you from our friends at Hybe. <laughs> if you wanna go. Your boyfriend cheated on you, but guess what? We got you some white Air Forces. 
<laughs> there's, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Yo! <laughs> Wait, I'm actually, wait, I'm, wait, really? Wait, really? All right, y'all, that's the end of the video, right? Y'all let me know something in the comments down below. Was he, did he fail the test earlier? Like, did he fail the test when he agreed to go on the, the hangout with the girl in, in the first place before she started calling it a date? You know what I'm saying? I think he failed then, because... Low key, he felt that because he, like, going to chill with your girl's friend without her and without like telling her, that's that's not right. I don't know if y'all classify that as if y'all personally classify that as cheating. Y'all let me know in the comments down below because I don't know. I think he kind of failed right then, and he also failed after he never told the um his girlfriend that the girl had came on to him and asked him all this stuff. He failed then too. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he failed multiple times. But this one ain't getting crazy. The girl ain't go wilding on him or nothing like that. The girl ain't start swinging. The girl ain't start cussing on that. She failed. She wasn't strong. She 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 failed to break up with him. So he broke up with her. That's what pissed me off. Like he was just at the end there. He was he was convincing me that he was the victim. I don't know how he did it, but he he did it. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Y'all think he failed in the beginning? Y'all think he ain't failed until he actually went up to the girl crib and put his arms around her and all that wild wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. And um, yeah, that's really about it. I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.